this time on the American Veteran. Finding a new beginning, fighting homelessness among veterans. Among the big challenges facing VA are the tens of thousands of former service members who have no place to call home. VA wants all veterans to lead a healthy and dignified life and has joined forces with civic groups around the country to fight homelessness. Scott Wallace reports from San Diego where the movement to fight homelessness among veterans was born. Do you want to quit the drugs? Do you want to deal with your PTSD? that you wanted to reconnect with your family, that you wanted to make that move, that change, that push in your life, do it now. On a high school football field in downtown San Diego, hundreds of homeless veterans gather for the 20th annual stand down. The three-day event delivers a broad range of services to homeless veterans and something else, a rare sense of belonging. It's really about making people feel that they're part of a family. And when you do that, then people start to feel better about who they are. On this same football field in 1988, John Natchison helped organize the very first stand down. We looked at homeless veterans as really being like combatants in the field, trying to deal with the elements, trying to deal with hostile people out there, and not having the services that they needed. And this is from the uh, IRS if we owe uh, taxes, I probably back do. taxes. They go back 10 years. 10 years? 10, ten years. years. Vets and family members are assigned to field tents where they stay for the duration of stand down. Volunteers man chow lines, provide haircuts, and screen vets for appointments. What's the longest period of sobriety you have? Those appointments include emergency dental care. Yeah, you got a lot of food stuck in there. That's why it hurts. So your sensitivity is probably more than one source. Other services are available as well. Mental health consults, medical checkups, and referrals for follow-up treatment. Your rib pain, what's the pain severity on that? There was one really basic thing that we talked about when we started this. And that's that we had brothers and sisters outside the wire. And that we were never going to let them stay outside the wire. The idea for Stand Down comes from the Vietnam War, when battle fatigued troops were given the chance to relax and recharge. We decided that uh, maybe it would be a good idea to try to do that for homeless veterans, to create a safe encampment someplace where homeless veterans could come. What became apparent is that um, people on the street had dental problems because they couldn't get dental care, they had foot problems because they were walking all the time. VA physician Arnold Gass has been medical director of Stand Down since the very beginning. About 30% or more of them had chronic psychiatric illnesses. There are at least 2,000 homeless veterans in San Diego County and 200,000 homeless vets nationwide. Nearly 25% of all homeless adults served in the military. We don't pay them a lot of money. When they get out, they do not have this massive um, amount of savings for security. Homeless veteran advocate Al Pavich oversees the San Diego stand down. They're one paycheck away. They're one medical incident not covered by insurance is away. They're one partner leaving away from being homeless. Open mindedness and willingness to try. 12 step recovery groups help break the vicious cycle of despair, addiction, and homelessness. Many once homeless veterans now volunteer at Stand Down. They offer the most visible proof that Stand Down really does work. The message I have is there is life after war, there's life after dope, and there's life after homelessness. There are no medical illnesses that are common or unique to Stand Down, but everyone who comes here has one illness, which is homelessness, and that's what we're treating. That wraps up another edition of The American Veteran. We are honored to bring you these stories each and every month. If you'd like to contact the Department of Veterans Affairs for any reason, here are a few ways to do so. For the Department of Veterans Affairs and the entire American Veterans staff, I'm Jennifer Braden. We'll see you next time.